What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, uh, for, uh, free reading for the sign of Libra. This can resonate with Libra in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Ben Hamden, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Um, free general reading for sign of Libra. So just because it's for the sign of Libra, there's millions and billions of people in the world and tons of Libra leaves. So it's very important to only take the channel messages and messages period in here and leave the rest. Okay, so I did receive a channel message. Y'all are the last sign that I'm doing, um, finishing up the Zodiac sign readings for the month of March for 2022. Um, it wasn't meant to leave y'all last, but that's just the way it is. But sometimes you save the best for last, just saying, just saying. I have Libra in my chart, so it's not anything negative against Libras, just throwing that out there. Not at all. Um, I've gotten a couple emails. Why haven't you done Libra? Why haven't you done Libra? Well, it's just because I didn't feel guided to do Libra um, yet. But yet here I am. So just let you guys know. Okay, so the channel message I received was... Um, Someone is about to come uh, come to you for help soon. I heard for some you are an, an attorney. For some you are a doctor. For some you are, um, hold on, some of you are an attorney, some of you are a doctor, and there was another one. Hold on a second. There was a third. Oh, some of you are a reader. Yeah. Some you're an attorney, some you're, in a, you're a doctor, and some you're a reader. So someone's about to come to you for help soon. For uh, and Whoever that specific channel message resonates with, for some of you guys, you're readers. So um, readers in the spiritual realm. Hopefully not dark art spiritualists. I don't feel you are. I feel your light side. Or at least I hope you are. Um, for some, you are attorneys. So um, I feel lawyer energy, just saying. And for some, you are doctors, doctors. Now, whatever you're a doctor of, um, some kind of doctor energy. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, however that resonates. I mean, you can have doctorates in many different things. So, I mean, you know, we know what a doctor is, but I'm feeling like you have a doctorate. Um, and, you know, there's many doctorates. So, however that resonates in one's life. But uh, it sounds like someone will have to come to you for help soon. That's a really great message. Um, now, whether you help them or not, I don't know. That only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug that in how it resonates. And for some, some are about to come to you with very, very, very important information. Some you are a judge. Some of you are a nurse. Some of you are a neighbor. Okay. And so and for some of you guys, some of you, um, some of you guys are about to someone's about to come to you with important information. So they're about to deliver you important information. Some of you are you are a police officer, officer of the law. Some of you are an investigator. Oh my God. Okay. And some of you are a police officer and, and some of you are an investigator. Some of you are a, a judge and some of you are a nurse. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, some of you guys are about to come to you for help. And I already explained who I heard for the categories of that. The other message, some, someone's about to come with you to, with you, with important information. Some you're a nurse, some you are a judge, some you are a police officer, officer of the law, some you are an investigator. I feel you could be a officer of the law as well or a private investigator. However, that plugs in in your life, but somebody's about to come to you with important information. You plug the, uh, these messages in, how they resonate, if they resonate for you. It sounds like this has not happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe, but only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for Santa Libra. 
This could resonate if you have leads in any aspect to your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Spirit messages, do you have sign of Libra? A particular Libra is about to find a very significant, a very significant drug paraphernalia soon. Needle. Meth related. Oh my god. Oh my god. You plug it in how it resonates. Oh my oh. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoever you are, Libra. Um you could, I feel so far I feel you can be masculine or feminine, uh fitting into these categories. I just want to say that because I haven't heard masculine or feminine. I feel it could go either way, masculine or feminine. And then we have a, a Libra, a Leaves that's about to find our specific drug paraphernalia, uh, a needle, meth related. So um, I'm assuming it's not your uh, needle. Um, I'm just saying. I don't think it's yours. I think it's somebody you're connected to. Um, our drug paraphernalia. So, I mean, it's not an insulin needle. It's not, it's not insulin needle. I heard meth related. So I think you're going to find this needle, possibly, you're going to find this needle and then you might find some meth. Or you might find ingredients that look like meth and you, or something that you find the needle and then you find some unknown substances and then you look it up and then it looks like meth. Or you ask somebody and it turns out it's meth. Um, I heard meth related. Um, with the needle. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. Spirit messages you have to sign up. Okay. Mm. Way too many. Way too many. Yeah. Yeah. Way too many. I think you're dealing with somebody. There's three. I think you're dealing with somebody. Obviously, one of you guys is dealing with somebody with addictions. Um, and I think meth addictions. Like, Method, I mean, seriously, meth addictions, maybe other addictions as well, but definitely meth addictions. And I think you're about to be emotional over finding this meth needle. Um, I think they're using it for meth use. And I don't think it's you, whoever is about to find this meth needle. I'm serious. Um, holy crap. Spirit messages you have for Son of Libra. Maybe, and once you find it, whoever you're suspecting, is, has used it or you know has used it maybe you find track marks on them spirit messages you have to sign a libra um and i just want to say from experience when i worked in the jail looking up track marks and hearing about track track marks from other people and and physically seeing them on somebody's body is two completely different things i just want to say that from my personal experience in the 3d it is i never saw a track mark period, in the 3D until I worked at the jail. I heard about them. I read about them. I studied about them. But when you see them in the 3D, on, physically on somebody, when you're assessing, well, I was assessing as a nurse, and you see the track marks physically on somebody's body, it to me, it's a completely different ballgame. And I'm serious about that. Um, it, well, at least it was for me. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Holy moly. Spirit messages you have signed of Libra. Okay. For some of these Libras, it's, it's another Libra. They're about to find with the, the meth, meth needle. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Wow. Okay, so this one, whoever you are, mask on or film leaves. Um, for some of you guys, it's at least two of you guys in the universe. It sounds like about to find a meth needle um, or suspected meth needle. And then you connect, connect the dots is what I'm feeling here. But at least for one of you guys, I heard it's another Libra that either you're going to suspect with the meth, meth, uh, meth usage or you connect for sure, for sure, with the meth, uh, meth usage. Um, with the, the drug paraphernalia, possible meth needle. Um, oh, wow. 
You plug it in how it resonates. Okay, we have Ace of Wands upright, Five of Pentacles upright, Three of Swords upright. A very high vibrational Libra has really, really learned the truth. Has learned the truth about a specific feminine energy that was frauded and stole from and severe crimes were performed against her. Crimes against humanity. This very high vibrational Libra is about to take great, some have already taken great action to start helping this process. Another high vibrational Libra is about to start taking great action to help resolve this process. Help her get true justice in the universe. Well, this is a good one, Leaves. Um, this is a good one. It really is. Okay. 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 Okay, so two high vibrational Libra and energies. You, you, you guys be masculine or feminine. I didn't hear if you're masculine or feminine. One has already started taking great action. Okay, so your two high vibrational feminine, um, fem, not fem, sorry. Two high vibrational Libra and energies, both of you. You could have leaves in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, human, or Jupiter charts. But you're dealing with the feminine energy, if this resonates for you. One of you guys, okay, so you you know about a femme energy that there was crimes against humanity committed against her. You know about it. And you're about to, one has already started helping this femme energy get some justice. One is about to start helping the fem energy get justice. I feel for some, you just learn, you've learned the information you're helping, uh, whether it's behind the scenes or 3D, like not behind the scenes or what have you. The other one, you might just learn about it or you've already learned about it. But I heard you're about to take uh, great action. So I think the one that has not started helping yet, that's the great action. There is one that's already started help, helping. So Ace of Wands Upright already started taking great action. Ace of Wands Upright about to start taking great action. You have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate. If you do resonate in this story, Libra, only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, but Five of Pentacles Upright, this femme energy was left out in the cold. I heard financially she was stole from, she was frauded, and crimes against humanity was performed against her. Um, crimes against humanity, that's huge. That's like trampling on someone's rights and liberties. Um, that's huge. That's huge. Um, and kudos for you actually taking on your true Libra energy and wanting to balance the scales in the universe. Um, kudos to you, sir or ma'am, whoever you are, these two individuals. One has already started taking great action. One is about to. Um, and this is the energy of the femme energy. Um, her, she was stole from, frauded, and crimes against humanity were performed against her. So, I mean, hu huge things. So, she was left out in the cold financially, because this is Pentacles card, money card, i.e. the theft, i.e. the fraud. And then crimes against humanity. I think that's the three of swords energy. I think it's leaving you in heartbreak over here, Libra, uh, for both of you guys, because you know about this or you're about to learn about this and it's breaking your heart because you know this happened to this femme energy and i don't care what sign you are i mean i'm a leo sun with libra in my placements as well and other signs i have libra pisces um leo um taurus i have several different signs in my chart but and i don't know what signs you have in your chart but i'm just saying i don't care what sign you have in your charts i don't or signs. I don't care what signs you have in your chart. Crimes against humanity or crimes against humanity. I don't care to what sign or who it is. That is heartbreaking. Um, it is for me. And I, I mean, now people that don't have empathy or sympathy for someone that has had crimes against humanity performed against them. To me, that's like narcissistic and sociopathic energy. And I'm serious about that. But if I knew of someone that had crimes against humanity performed against them, I would be very sympathetic against them. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. So kudos to whoever you are, because it, obviously you have sympathy against the situation because um, this is terrible. 
This is terrible. I wouldn't wish crimes against humanity against anybody. Anybody. So um, kudos to you for taking some action. That's what I'm trying to say. Or about to take some action. However you plug into this situation, Libra. You can be masculine or feminine. Okay? So you plug it in. How it resonates. It is so good to see positive energy in Libra's readings because... I've got so much flack in the past, especially when I was pulling in that stupid Secret 7 situation. Um, Libra's readings were very, very low vibrational for a long time. They just were. Very, very, very low vibrational for a long time. They just were. But I can't help what the energetic space was. And I used to get so much flack. I uh, accused that I hated Libras. And uh, you have something against Libras. And blah, 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 blah. Just a disclaimer, I don't have anything against Libra. I have Libra in my chart. But I cannot help the clear audience messages I receive from the spiritual realm and what people are doing in the 3D to cause the energetic spaces to be screwed up. I just want to disclaimer that. Okay? Just let y'all know. Um, but this is looking pretty good. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoever, whatever Libras I'm pulling in here, obviously two very high vibrational ones. Um, obviously. And then um, the person that is the Libra that's about to find the meth, suspected meth needle, um, drug paraphernalia needle, I feel you're high vibrational too. Or at least the one that's about to find it. Because one, there's at least two of you guys about to find drug paraphernalia, suspected meth needles soon. Um, one of you guys, one of, um, one of you guys, uh, it's about to be, uh, you're about to suspect a low vibrational Libra. Um, I think the meth user or suspected meth user. But whoever's about to find the needle, I feel you are high vibrational. Now, I'm just saying. So, congrats. Just saying. Spirit messages you have sound Libra. These are psychic intuitive messages too. I just want to let everybody know. I've been trying to disclaimer that in all my videos. I haven't been the best at doing that, but I'm trying to make that a habit. Um, these are psychic intuitive messages from the spiritual universe. Just let everybody know. Four of Wands reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. The Devil reversed. For some, you could be dealing with the Capricorns. We've got Caps energy in here. If you are, they could have Caps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid Midhaven, or Jupiter. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. But definite Caps energy for sure. A particular Libra was lied to in a huge, huge, huge way. Lots and lots of lies. About a femme energy. Said this feminine energy did not pay her bills, that she did drugs, and that she ran the streets. But you, you know the truth. Some you've learned the truth. Some you're about to. Some of these feminine energies, you were told they were a prostitute as well. About to realize, some about to realize they're all lies. Some have already realized they're all lies. About to take great action to help this feminine energy. Wow, a lot of gossip and slander and uh, lies and um, defamation of character energy in here. I mean, when you t say somebody's a prostitute and they're a drug user and they run the streets, that's basically defamation of character because you are slandering their name publicly and trying to ru attempting to try to ruin their reputation in the community. So that technically is defamation of character. I just want to throw that out there. Um, whoever this is, it's a, you're dealing with the feminine energy as well, Libra, but it's the feminine energy that was, um, you relied on very, very badly about this feminine energy. Um, for some of you guys, I heard that you were told they were a prostitute, they didn't pay their bills, and that they, um, uh, ran the streets. 
and that they ran the streets. But for some, you've already learned that's not the case. For some, you're about to learn they're not, it's not the case. It's actually very, very, very much the opposite. Very much. It's actually very, very, very much the opposite. Very much. Okay, so someone lied to you. For some, I feel like it could be a Capricorn that lied to you, possibly, uh, or not. It's just because we have Capricorn energy in here. But, for some, you know, it could be any sign that told you this. Um, for some, it could be several people that told you this. Um, you only know your story, not anybody, anybody else. You have to plug it in, how it resonates. But for some, you're about to learn the information that's not true. For some, you already have learned the information that's not true. But they said this uh, Them Energy was a prostitute. She ran the streets. She sold her body i.e. running the streets, she did drugs, she didn't pay her bills, um, she basically did everything in society you're not supposed to do, um, but it's not true. Um, so they told you this for manipulative reasons, basically. Uh, for some, you've already learned it's not the truth. For some, you're about to learn it's not the truth. Um, and I heard you're going to take great, a great action to help. So you're going to take great action to help this fem energy, the one that was lied upon, slandered, huge defamation of character energy. I don't blame you. This is, this is terrible. Why would you go and, now it's one thing when you speak the truth on person, people, place, family, or situation. It's one thing when you speak the truth. But when you free willingly state that somebody is a prostitute, a drug user, they run the streets and they don't pay their bills, but when, but you know they do, there is a huge reason why you're saying this. And it's probably, and I'm not saying you're saying this, I'm just saying whoever this is that told you this. It's probably, well, it's not probably, it's most likely to ruin their reputation, their career, their reputation in the community, to obviously twist your mind to make you think badly of this person but um but the but the truth's coming out the truth's coming out so four wands reverse this is um trying to portray that this feminine energy is a very unstable unfit person basically now for some they could have kids for some they they may not have kids but stating they don't pay their bills and they basically sell their body on the streets that portrays a very unstable home environment i don't care if you have kids or not kids or or you do have kids. And I'm serious about that. Coupled with the Ace of Swords reverse, all the lies and slander and um, defamation of character energy. That is cool. And then Devil reversed. She doesn't do it. I heard she doesn't do it. Some you've already learned it. Some you're about to. Um, she doesn't participate in those things. So whoever told you guys this, one person or two plus people, they were saying it for strategic reasons. Um, but I, you're very high vibrational, whoever you are in this category. You're highly intuitive, and I think you're realizing it. And I heard you're about to help them. Or you already realized it, and you're about to help them. This is terrible. I mean, why? Okay, people that are in competition with people and people that go around intentionally slandering people's names into the ground. There's something not right about that. And I'm serious about that. There really is something not right about that. Um and I'm serious about that. All right, let's pull some tea leaves and then we'll close it. This reading actually is not too bad. A particular Libran police officer is in severe regret of the past. They're about to make huge positive changes soon in their own personal life and help a very serious situation of the past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So Libran police officer energy, I feel that could go masculine or feminine. Libran police officer energy. Um, whoever you are, sir or ma'am, you could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Hammer, or Jupiter charts. But you are an officer of the law, and you're a Libra. You can be masculine or femme. But I heard you're in severe regret of the past of something that happened in the past. Um, I'm assuming it involved you, or you were, or you knew about it. 
how that resonates. Um, you only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug the situation in, however it resonates. Um, but I heard you're about to make huge changes in your own personal life and help out a very serious situation of the past. Um, now, however, you're about to help out the very serious situation in the past. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Libra and police officer. You can be masculine or feminine. Libra and police officer. Officer of the law, sir, ma'am. Um, however, that resonates for you. And I heard you're about to make huge changes in your own personal life. Spirit messages you have for sign of Libra. Uh, so kudos to you. So whatever those huge personal changes are in your own personal life, I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, so <clears throat> kudos to you. Whoever you are, sir or ma'am. Spirit messages you have sign of Libra. I've got an order some new cards, y'all. I'm just going to tell y'all real quick while I'm shuffling. Spare messages you have, Sally. I really need to order some new cards. And I do plan on doing that soon. That's on my to-do list. It's just not on my priority list. Um, you know, there's more priority type things in my life to do than order some new cards. But I do plan on doing that. And they have some really great new decks out. And I plan on creating a new deck of my own soon when I have the time. Um, spirit messages you have for Sana Libra. So that is on my bucket list too. Um, but you know, one thing at a time. I have a wonderful idea for a deck of cards and I'm not going to tell y'all it because I want to surprise y'all uh, with it. And I don't want somebody else to take my idea. Spirit messages you have for Sana Libra. But I have a wonderful idea for a deck of cards. I haven't seen it done yet uh, for a deck of tarot cards. I haven't seen it done yet in the 3D. I've seen something kind of similar to it, but not what I was planning on doing. So, um, as soon as I have the free time and the, um, the able and to do it, uh, I'm going to do it. So, I'm excited about that. I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, I do. Hopefully, at least. Hold on. Spare messages you have signed of Libra. I actually have an idea for two decks of cards. And the second deck, I have never seen it done. I've never seen it done in anybody's decks, ever, ever. And um, so I honestly, and I've been holding it in my head and holding it in my head, that second one, because I've never seen that one done. So, but I think it's a wonderful idea. Hopefully you guys think it's a wonderful idea too. I cannot wait to release that one because it's completely different. Nobody, I've never, I have not seen it done. I haven't seen it done, but I think it would be very beneficial and useful in the tarot community that day um, because it, I haven't seen it done, but I feel like it should have been done a long time ago for me personally. Now I could be wrong, but if nobody else buys my decks, I'll just keep them, you know? But I think it is beautiful. Spirit messages you have a sign of Libra. But that second one, I definitely want to make sure it's copyrighted and all that before I release it. Um, because I truly have not seen that done. I just haven't. The first one, similar, similar-esque. Second one, I haven't. So I just want to make sure it's copy. they're copyrighted and all that good jazz before. You know, I release them out to the public and then people start stealing my ideas. Kind of like with Secret 7 readings, you know? So just saying. Okay, so career and gong. Career. A particular Libra is a, a career is about to skyrocket in a positive way. Once many series of chain events occur. And everything is very public. Some you are officer of the law. Some you work in the legal sector.
Some of you are a reader, tarot reader. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So um, somebody's career is about to skyrocket in a very positive way. Um, once um, it sounds like a series of chain of events occur in the universe, it sounds like your career is about to skyrocket. But it sounds like you're about to help it skyrocket. It sounds like you're going to do something amazing in your career for person, people, place, family, or situation to help it skyrocket, basically. For some, you're an officer of the law. So I feel you could be an investigator or a police officer. Um, there's many different facets. There's officers that work at, um, at um, schools. There's officers that work traffic stops. There's officers that do invest in private investigations. I mean... There's many different facets. So whatever you do, Libra, officer of the law, however that resonates. Some you work in the legal sector. So I'm thinking, par I'm feeling paralegal energy. I'm feeling lawyer energy. I'm feeling judge energy. I'm feeling wor working at the courthouse energy. Um, how that re resonates. But, um, and some you are terror readers. But I heard basically um, something in your career is about to skyrocket and take off. But it sounds like you're about to help it skyrocket and take off because you're about to take some kind of information or create a series of chain of events or something. And one is a public investigator. Public service. And one is a public investigator, public service. So one, you work in public service, you're a public investigator. Okay, so there's four categories here. Um, but it sounds like you're going to create a series of chain events to help it, your career sky, skyrocket and take off. But in all fairness, it sounds like you know some information or you're about to learn some information to help your career skyrocket too. And for a lot of you guys, I feel it's regarding this feminine energy we've been pulling in so strong in here for 31 minutes. And I'm very serious. Of course, you have to plug this feminine energy in your own personal life and situation, however they resonate in your own personal life and situation or public career life and situation, because we have career strong in here. So um, you you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Um, but um, yeah, it's about to, whatever you're about to do, series of training events you're about to create, only you know what series of training events you're about to create, not anybody else, is about to help your career skyrocket. But I feel for a lot of you guys, it's regarding this femme energy, the crimes against humanity that was performed against her. Um, and I'm serious about that. I think you're about to help this feminine energy in your public career, and it's going to help your public career skyrocket. That's exactly what I think. But only you know your story, not anybody else. Gone. This is actually a really great reading, man. An exciting event. There's about to be a very, 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 very public event after all these series of chain of events occur and balance is restored in the universe. Very serious court rulings need to occur first. Court cases need to wrap up first and court cases are about to start. There will be a very, uh, very public event. Many Libras will be recognized and this feminine energy. Wow. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. This is beautiful, man. So, okay. So I did suspect a lot of you guys, it had to do with that feminine energy. And for some, it is. Uh, for some, it may not be regarding this feminine energy. But we have public. The reason I, I suspected it is because one, there's people in the legal sector. When you work in the legal sector, you're representing person, people, place, family, situation, corporation, etc. So, well, we were pulled in the fem energy with crimes against humanity performed against them. So that's huge. So I'm assuming some of the, if you are in the legal sector, you might be representing this fem energy or working with her in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, if you're an officer of the law, you might um, have known some information on this feminine energy. Um, or communicated with this feminine energy, or know this fem energy, or is going to assist this fem energy, however that resonates. Um, and then we have a public investigator. So I think you might be investigating this feminine energy or about to investigate this fem energy. I mean, crimes against humanity was performed against her. You can't get any worse than that, you know? I mean, I'm serious. Um, and then, yeah, so that's what I think. 
Um, so I, and it's going to make your career skyrocket in a positive way, but it's because I think you're about to help her. Think it's about because you're about to help her. And I heard there's about to be a huge public event. I heard court cases have to wrap up first. More court, some are about to wrap up, some are about to get started. So, however that resonates, once the court, some court case gets wrapped court case gets wrapped up, another one gets started, and then series of chain of events occur. It sounds like in a particular city or area or something of that nature, there's going to be a huge public event in some shape, form, or fashion regarding this feminine energy and these people. It sounds like about to help her. Um, and I think you I heard the feminine energy will be honored and you guys that are about to help her. Um, so career and gong, an exciting event. I think it's a very public event um, that's about to occur. But there's a very significant court case that needs to wrap up first and one that's about to start. Um, so, and then other series of chain events that I'm assuming you guys know about that you're going to create to get them started or wrapped up or what have you to get the ball rolling for this to occur. So it sounds like it's going to skyrocket her career and it's going to skyrocket y'all's career. It's like it's dual energy in here is exactly what it feels like. I heard a uh, tarot reader, legal community, public investigative energy, and um, police um, officer of the law energy um, for this specific message. It's about to skyrocket y'all's careers. I feel it kind of goes that way. Wow. that th This is beautiful, man. You cannot get any best, uh, better energy than that. Now, whether this person is a Libra or not, or has Libra in their chart or not, I'm not sure. I didn't hear signs on this feminine energy. You have to plug her in in your own life, how they resonate, uh, how she resonates for you, okay? Only you know who this feminine energy is in your life, not anybody else. Um, wow. Wow. Just saying, you guys, this is beautiful. Let me see if I hear anything else. It is going to be very, very, very exciting. Very. And there will be a very specific, important conversation between one particular masculine officer of the law, Libra, and this feminine energy. It's going to be very important. And very, very important conversation. It's going to lead to positive series of chain of events between these two. At one time, there were not positive series of chain of events. A lot of truth and clarity will be spoken. Wow. Holy crap, you guys. Okay, so officer of the law, Libra, I'm pulling you in pretty strong. I'm just saying, um, whoever you are, you can be masculine or feminine. Um, oh, I heard he, I heard he, I think you're a dude. I think you're a dude. Um, in this one particular one. Now, the earlier messages, you can be masculine or femme, officer of the law, Libra. But for one of you guys, you're masculine, Libra, officer of the law. Um, but I heard there's going to be a very specific, she's very important in here. I just want to say, she. I've been pulling her in this whole reading. There's about to be a very specific conversation at this event, it sounds like. Once all this is said and done, it ha none of this has happened in the universe yet, it doesn't sound like. It. But it sounds like you guys are going to help create a series of chain events to help it occur, if that makes sense. That's what it sounds like. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else, but that's what it sounds like here. But once this uh, very public, very, uh, very public, very wonderful event occurs in the universe, an exciting event, um, very public. I feel in a city and eyes type area. Um, I feel a lot of people. I feel um, it might be televised possibly or might not. I don't know, but it's going to be very, very public. I'll tell you that. Uh, so I feel a lot of people energy is what I feel. But you, masculine Libra of the law, officer of the law, I heard you... There's about to be a very important conversation between you and this feminine energy, the one that had the crimes against humanity performed against. Um, it sounds like you are going to initiate it with this feminine energy. I heard there was not 
basically, it sounds like there was not good vibes between y'all in the past. There was not good energy between y'all in the past. Not good juju between y'all in the past. I mean, it just sounds like it didn't mesh in the past. Uh, now, I don't know why. Uh, only you know that. I'm not sure. But I heard, it sounds like you're about to speak a lot of truth and clarity to her. Um, a lot of truth and a lot of clarity. But it sounds like once you speak the truth and clarity to her, and it sounds like it's going to happen at this exciting event. Um, so it sounds like she's going to be invited, you're going to be invited, and a ton of other people are going to be invited. But once this occurs, I heard the energy shift is going to completely shift around um, when this occurs. So maybe it sounds like you left some important information out or you just felt like you couldn't share it with her at the time um however that resonates but you sharing it with her is going to energy energetically shift it around and it's going to um turn things around it sounds like in your favor masculine officer so for some of you you might be and i didn't hear it was but you might be romantically interested in them possibly or you just want to mend fences with them and um you know turn it around in a positive favor for you like to be platonic you know um, i'm not saying it is romantic i didn't hear it was romantic but if it's not it could just be platonic maybe y'all just didn't get along platonically and you want to mend the fences platonically for some it could be love hell i don't know you plug it in how it resonates but however that resonates in your own life libra masculine officer of the law okay how that resonates all right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Wow, this is a great reading, you guys. It really was. I love you guys so very much. Everybody made wonderful choices. I hope this helped and namaste.